What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 2 of season 2 of the ZM Cohetes career mode. We started last season really good, Fonseca as you can see got the player of the month for last month and that's a really good start for him to the new season. First match is going to be against Real Society and I'm going to be simming this match and let's hope that we are able to get the win. Fonseca gets yet another goal. And I will tell you, it's actually really crazy how many goals this guy has scored in this season alone. Let's check it out. In La Liga, he has 7 goals in 4 games, that is freaking crazy, that's some Haaland vibes right there. So the next match is going to be a really tough one, not just because of the team, but because of the occasion, we have Liverpool in our first match in the Champions League. That is fucking tough. And then our group, we have Liverpool, Cohetes, Ajax, and Trabzon Spurs. So we should be able to go to the round of 16. Maybe like second position because of Liverpool. I'm, re I'm really not hoping that we're going to defeat Liverpool anytime soon in this series. But we're starting with our strongest team, with our strongest side. We're going to be wearing our away kit, obviously. And I'm going to be playing the full highlights of this match. And let's see if we're going to be able to defeat Liverpool by chance. We have the players to do it. And let's see if we can actually make that come true. Champions League opening day and we are at the Anfield. So the chances of us winning this match are almost zero, to be honest. But we're going to try our best. I really like the fact that Anfield actually has this um, cutting of them coming out from inside the dugout and one really good thing is actually that they actually touch the Anfield thing on the top there when they're passing not all of them though but most of them touch it like see Carver how touch it there Robertson touch it there I don't, I don't know why the whole the entire Real Madrid squad is going to Liverpool for some reason we are coming out in the Champions League for the first time and hopefully this is going to be a really good start to the episode we already won one match in the Saints and let's see if we're going to be able to defeat Liverpool in Anfield it's really it's highly impossible especially with the fact that we're playing ultimate but I mean nothing is impossible in football okay so we just kick off and let's see what we are going to do we get the first attack that's actually quite shocking but good for us we're actually doing really well in attack off camera and that's good ZH gets the corner opportunity and it's to Donovan but the keeper was just able to get gets the first touch on the ball okay Liverpool have a counter attack here and let's hope that we are able to crawl this um Stewart is faster than Salah so what the hell was that pass okay so they have another really dangerous opportunity here and we just I think that was good from Donovan and we are with the ball now please let us just get a really good chance counter attack we have a solo run here in the 51st minute if we draw this match i really wouldn't mind to be honest but i mean this is looking really really bad right now because they have fuck fuck i have no idea why they are actually closing down faster than that and salah i have no idea why the fuck you are running to your to your coach we'll just do your fucking celebration and let's get this over with you're wasting too much freaking time right there and they have yet another counter attack in the 54th minute it's really not that far away from the first that he just had okay that is really good play from Liverpool right there but let's just hope that we are able to match them and get the goal in this match of course not I have no idea what I'm even saying to you guys I'm really talking gibberish right now because I'm trying to focus on defending and I'm also trying to focus on talking what makes sense at the same time and it's just really really fucking hard I mean we have yet another corner and we can put I have no idea why the fuck batch is on this to be honest but let's just change this to Kallenberg real quick hopefully we can give it to someone who can actually get a decent header on it no one can Kudus is with the ball here I think that's the first match he's going to be playing and who can Kallenberg give it to right now no one is there but Fonteca is there so you can actually just try and give him the ball once again and no we, go, we, we don't uh, we, we are still with the ball funny enough and let's just try and get the the most of this opportunity we have here and what the fuck is that so they have yet okay we have a counter attack and this could be a, a chance for Fonseca to at least get one goal in the Champions League and at least you're able to get through Van Dijk and that is good so all that's left is for you to get the goal and you do I mean, I mean it's not really it's not really a difference but unless we get another really good counter attack there's no way we are there's no way we are winning this match to be honest but I mean there's still a chance for us to win it and of course there's no chance and we are done we lost our first match in the Champions League 2-1 I mean it was really expected that Liverpool would win this match good goal from Salah good goal from Thiago and we just weren't able to get a, a goal at the end there Fonseca is doing really well scoring literally in all the matches and he's literally the only one scoring for us next up we have the match against Villarreal this is supposed to be another really tough match but I'm going to be playing the highlights of this one the only changes I made to the lineup is Rise in the right wing for ZH and Lozano in the right back position for Zaracho so let's see if we're going to be able to win this match I cut out a lot of me talking in the previous match because I was not able to talk well while trying to focus on that pressure in that match but we are going to begin our bitter rival Villarreal and we have beaten them once they have beaten us once and this match is going to be the one that 
solidifies which one is going to be better in the last three matches. I see Risse making a good run there. Let's hope Locatelli can actually do something really worthwhile. And of course, Risse is through. No way you're missing this boy. And why the hell are you using your freaking right leg to shoot? And no one is there. But German is there though. And we can give it to Fonteca who gets the ball shot on goal but it's blocked. I mean defending them should be easier than defending Liverpool obviously. And this guy is literally just going to run through my freaking defense and we get the ball. And we have a counter attack here. Fonteca hopefully entering a really good position. And yes that's a really good position for him. And he shouldn't really miss this. Should he? Shouldn't really miss this. Top right corner. Thank you. It wasn't to the right corner, but I mean, it was a goal nonetheless. That's another goal for Fonteca. This guy is absolutely on fucking crack this season. And we do end the match 1 0. That was a good match. It was pretty fast, ended really fast as well. And we have Fonteca to thank for getting us to win. He's literally the one that is carrying this freaking team right now. The match against our rivals came and went just like that. I have no idea what the hell they're showing us in this. But Pixie said, I have a feeling he's going to be Fonteca. Yes, he has done absolutely fucking amazing. His projected goal is 60 in La Liga this season. And if he can actually get that which i i doubt <laughs> i mean the competition record is 50 that's messy over now i really don't know who holds that but if you can get 60 in this season that's going to be fucking amazing i mean he has scored in all the simulations and he has scored in all the matches that we've played so far i think and we have the next one here which is going to be against the alaves i'm going to be bringing uh no one really i mean i rotated the score last 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 match but let's just bring kudus in just for the sake of it this is only still only 79 but batch has reached an 80 which is good for him we're going to simulate this one hopefully we get the win we're at home so we should and we do not we actually lose the match Fonseca doesn't score zh gets the goal for the team and that is the first loss of this episode apart from the one against real madrid sorry liverpool obviously losing that match really wasn't good because now we have a really tough match against Atletico Madrid and we're playing ultimate so the two wins we had against them last season might not be able to repeat itself this time around I think I'm just going to bring Risse because I want to be rotating Risse and ZH and uh, there's really not, nothing else I want to do maybe I will bring Kudus, Maduke, ZH and Bat. but for now let's hope that we're going to be able to get the win it's going to be a really tough match and I have no idea what position both of these clubs are in the table right now but I think we should still be in top four because it's just one match we have lost in La Liga so far but let's just hope that we are able to get the win in this one we're playing the full match and i will just try to get the win as as best as possible let's hope the team doesn't fuck up oh, oh we lost against sevilla that's true we lost against sevilla let's hope the team doesn't fuck up that's a good interception from donovan to block that cross to be honest i feel like we actually can't hold the ball i feel like we actually legit cannot hold the ball in this match because there's what the hell is that? Why are you even tackling like that? What the fuck? Anyways, I feel like we can't hold the ball in this match because I tried to press L2 sometimes and nothing happens. And can they just stop making stupid dumbass passes like this that, that are to me? There's just no freaking person. Like there's no point of those of those passes to be honest because I obviously pass to who I want to pass to and like they just completely flunk it for no for no reason and look at that look at that like for what reason are you passing so stupidly like that? Alright, so there's a chance for Fonseca here if the team doesn't decide to be a fucking pain in the ass right now and of course of course good interception from Helvig there and we have probably a little mini chance here and Ponteca come on get the goal and yes that's your first goal and a first really good attack good work from Helvig there or was it Stewart that got the ball initially and the, the, the play from there was just really fucking smooth and Atletico Madrid didn't have anything on us really good one to play from Kallenberg and German and Ortega was not missing from there. Alright, so we do get the ball, hopefully, and of course not. We take forever to freaking stand up from that. Alright, Ortega might actually get a second chance on goal here. But, I mean, it's looking like we're not going to be able to because I have no idea how that guy is even faster than him. What the hell? Who the fuck is that that he's way faster than Ortega? And of course, of course that happens. That is so fucking annoying. I mean, from the way they got the ball at the beginning to, to... It was a good finish though, I'm not going to lie, but I mean, the, the whole build-up was fucking stupid. Alright, second half, we were able to get a chance there to get one goal up. But, it's been a really good first half, to be honest, and although their goal was really annoying because, I mean, I really didn't want that to happen. It was a really, really bad spell of defending there. It's been a good match, like, all in all, because, I mean, we, we did get the goal for Teka gets yet another goal, and let's just see if we're going to be able to do way better than what we did in the first half. In the second half, I just want to be able to hold the ball, hold possession, and let's try and get the win in this match because, I mean, it's not it's not beyond me to get a win against Atletico Madrid, and... Damn. 
but of course it gets right to them good good block from Stewart and I mean we go again another uh, yet another block and he's so slow to clear the freaking ball why are you so bloody slow to clear the freaking ball though all right we have we have a counter attack here and come on just make the freaking run please make the, why, why aren't you running why aren't you freaking running God, it's so it's so it's so irritating why they are not why are they not fucking running I'm actually telling them to run, but like they're literally just standing still. Fontega is actually quite tired, but I'm not going to take him off yet. I'm just going to bring Bash for for Locatelli now. And those are the only two changes I want to make, but the rest is really annoying. I mean, that was a really good counter attack that you guys just watched for no apparent reason. I mean, the team is doing nothing. The team is doing absolutely nothing. I can ever seen they score that goal, like they're doing absolutely nothing to try and at least get a win in this match. Like, 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 look at that. Come on. The defense does legit nothing to help me out here. Like, nothing at all. But I mean, it's Atletico Madrid we're talking about here. You can't really do anything. You can't really do that much when it comes to, to playing a really good team like this on Ultimate. They're obviously going to do everything in their power to make you suffer in these matches. But that was a good interception. And we still have somewhat of a chance here. And what was that? Why the, why the hell would you give someone that far away? I mean, it's a really good opportunity. And nothing comes off of that. Okay, it's still a good chance. No one to pass you, but there's German who absolutely fucking flopped that shot. You are right footed. Why the hell would you use your. Sorry, you're left footed. Why the hell would you use your right leg there? Like, it makes absolutely no freaking sense how this game just changes everything to make, make your entire fucking life miserable. It's so annoying, to be honest. So, so bloody annoying. I'm going to bring um, Maduke and Ziyech into the match here and I, I don't think I'm making any other changes maybe Kudus but I mean the match is too, too tense for Kudus to call me right now there's no one else for me to bring in so I think I'm good with this of course of course I mean that was so obvious that they were going to score there it was so fucking obvious and okay, that was a good interception from Lozano is there a chance maybe to get a goal and there is looks like there is a chance and he's on onside and of course, of course that happens, of course that happens. He loses all the momentum there and he fucks it up completely. What? What? How, how, do, how does that happen? How the fuck does... The defenders are doing nothing. The defenders are doing nothing. I mean, this is what happens when you play a big team with ultimates. I mean, this, this type of shit happens. I mean, we will get our revenge though. We will get fucking revenge, and I mean it. We will get our revenge. I am, I am vengeful right now because this match was so fucking unfair. And this game legit doesn't help you out in the slightest. When you're playing ultimate, I guess that it's supposed to be hard, but the game really doesn't help you out at all. I mean, your defense, your attack, everybody just completely falls off the fucking face of the world because they just play like they don't have any atom of sense in them. We're going with um, our main starting eleven here against Ajax. I'm playing both attacking and defensive highlights. And this is the last match we're playing in this episode. We're going to sim the next match against Osasuna. Okay, and we start the match straight up. And hopefully we get the more attacking options. All right, first up, we have a free kick in the fifth minute. And I want to just get this. What the fuck? It's supposed to be Kallenberg on this free kick, to be honest. But at least let's just have German have a, a go at it. Or I feel like I could actually do something a little bit better here. And okay, nothing good. I, I should have done a power shot. I have no idea why I didn't do a power shot. But we have a penalty here, and obviously, I'm going to change this to, to Portega. I don't know why you think it's all scattering. Portega is definitely the one that's supposed to be on penalties. And I'm definitely going to blast this into the top right corner. Nothing the keeper can do about it. And that's a really good goal from, from, from Portega. Yet another goal for him. I mean, he's been absolutely fucking amazing this season. Ajax have an attack in the 23rd minute, and well, let's just try and get. Let's try and do the best that we can because I mean the team had the team defense wise has been absolutely fucking shit lately and I don't understand what the hell. And we just got the ball there and we were able to end up with this, but everything is just really fucked up. I want to try and get this to Donovan. He hasn't scored this season yet, but hopefully he will be able to here and I mean he gets ahead on it. We're at the 88th minute and this is the last chance for an attack. Let's hope that shit actually works out and it's not looking like it's working out right now have no idea but we do get it to Fonseca who does not end up with the ball and 
get the ball is lost and that's basically the end of the match we have won our second match in the champions league against ajax it was a one nil lead fonseca is the one that got the goals for us the goal for us i mean he's literally the one that's carrying the freaking team in this episode last match is going to be against us as soon as i would be seeing this hopefully we come out with the win fonseca please score and yes you do he gets one goal he gets okay calamari gets a brace and fonseca gets yet another goal for the club three no to us as soon as that's a really good win and we are fifth in la liga barcelona is on top they haven't lost or joined a match they won all seven real madrid is second with 15 points and let's come out of 15 points as well oh the three of us the four four teams actually are 15 points that is actually good that makes me feel a lot better it makes me feel that like i haven't done absolute shit in this episode and as for the goal scorers we have fonteca with 10 goals in eight matches that is absolutely insane and overall in all competitions he has 12 goals and two assists school being the ronaldo region this guy is legit the portuguese Haaland right now because he's copying goals for fun and that is exactly what our team needs he's the one that is literally keeping our team up there in the table and that's really good we have come to the end of episode 2 thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already comment on what you think about the team and i'll see you guys in the next video peace